Hello, this is New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel, biking along in Central Jersey on the Jersey Shore. Found here a abandoned building, beautiful building, made out of brick. Looks like it's uh, built in the 20s or 30s. Right here in the marshland off the Shark River. See here this beautiful porch. The place is uh, completely littered with graffiti. place is definitely uh, well built. It weathered uh, many hurricanes including Hurricane Sandy which the water level would approximately have been up to about here during the hurricane when the storm surge came in. See it's mostly concrete structure. You can see all the way up even the ceilings made out of concrete. And then inside was finished with lumber and a very, very thick plaster, the metal lath. You can see the structure, this metal structure of the walls just dangling down. And I actually don't mind the graffiti. It actually, uh, I think it looks beautiful in here. Some metal piping, which could have been a gas line for the room, or they would have run their electrical. And then this first section of stairs here came up to this landing, very skinny. So this must have been a service access. And then this at one point is covering what might be a basement down below. But then the stairs would have gone all the way up to the attic, which has a beautiful metal beams and trusses up there. Absolutely incredible. Well built building. This was probably for the military at one point. You can see how damp it is in this building. There's also uh, some nests wherever animals can build their nest in private and shelter they will do so but look at the beautiful woodwork over each one of the doors there's a lot of detail in this structure it was very ornate for what it was you can see here the exterior brick is exposed. And then the wall structure. You can see how well built this was made and it's built to last. Someone kicked through this. In this room we have uh, a whole section of batteries here. I'm not sure what someone was up to, maybe flashlights exploring at night. This room uh, has a uh, little shelving built into it. And it looks like there's some plumbing there. So this might have been a bathroom at one point. Lots of debris all over the floor. This, wi this window, actually, they just concreted, blocked right over it. 
from the exterior. This room here has a lot more of the plumbing fixtures here in the wall, so there might have been a toilet or a sink here. You can see some holes in the wall, that might be where they fastened the sink. Two more sinks here. Look at this uh, neat little bracket here in the wall. That would have held the sink. And then uh, they would have had a electrical here in the wall. And this is uh, just a big open great room. Geez, I would love to get upstairs. I'm sure there's uh, some really cool stuff up there. I just don't know how to attempt to climb. And I'm sure the steps were removed on purpose and the basement was covered so no one would get hurt. But if the plywood was pulled up, I bet you there's access to a, a basement down there. But then that would be dangerous if that was left up so someone could fall in it at night. So the rest of this is just graffiti all over. I want some world peace. All the pipes, these must be gas lines, are pulled out from the wall. You could see all the way down. Someone just yanked on them and bent them. And then you have the interior plaster and lath that has separated in this spot. And then you can see we're down to just the brick. And then maybe this was nicely swept out at one point and people would uh, skateboard here maybe, or BMX. It's a little concrete ramp. So someone brought a lot of concrete down here and uh, went to town and built themselves a little kicker ramp or a quarter pipe. Uh, the room is, uh, I would say, approximately 14 to 16 foot tall and uh, approximately 60 foot by at least 30 foot wide. But the smooth concrete floor here, there's only a few imperfections in the floor. The whole floor throughout is just uh, incredible. Smooth. <laughs> this uh, other building here, which must have been uh, some type of uh, maintenance shop, next to the main building. The roof is completely uh, fallen down and disappeared. Maybe it was cleaned up. This is similar in size, just not as tall and not as wide. This is all just made out of concrete blocks. So this would have been a newer building than the one we were just in. Another bathroom here, you can see the urinal on the wall. Some more plumbing here. 
but uh, very, very interesting uh, graffiti. Years and years and years of people adding their layers and adding their touches. I bet you if you fly over in an airplane, this is uh, very bright. You can see it from far away. A little bit further down here, got the other half of this building. You can see they purposely took it apart because it's cut with like a circular saw all the way up. Looks like uh, someone was sleeping out here, hiding from the law, or had nowhere to go. Wife kicked them out. They actually set up a little bed in this room. Not too bad of a place, depending on which way the wind is blowing and the rain is falling. Could probably stay dry in here. It smells like urine in this one, so uh, someone did stay here for a while. Well, this is New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I'd love it. I'll see you soon.